hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to discuss all about wave accessibility now i'm going to share some practical tips to improve the accessibility of your website you might have read different blogs and articles to improve the accessibility of your websites but here i'm not going to share any kind of theoretical knowledge i'm directly going to test the accessibility of the of this website using google lighthouse tool and we'll see how can we improve the accessibility of this website so in order to do this first i'm going to open my console tab here okay so now i'm here in my console let me go to my application okay it's not application i need to go to the lighthouse here and i'm i will generate the report of accessibility using this lighthouse tool by google so now it is going to audit this page and it is going to give the accessibility report of this page so let's wait and see the report okay so here is the report in front of you and i've got 89 accessibility out of 100 and you might have uh, you might be saying 89 might be a good number but no it's not good we should at least cross 95 to make your website more accessible friendly and now we are going to see how can we do that okay let me open my vs code and improve the accessibility of our website or the template which i have created here so the first thing we can do to improve the accessibility is to use semantic html so semantic html not only improves the accessibility of your website but also it improves the seo of your of your website so first here like you can see here i'm trying to create a navigation bar here but i'm creating it using the deep tag so it gives a bad impression to the google crawler so here we can use some of the semantic tag like here i can use nav tag and make it more accessible friendly now second thing which we can do to improve the accessibility of website is using aria tag so you can read more about aria in the google you can search about wave aria in the google and you can find more information about it here i'm just going to see some practical action and tips so here i can use aria role and here i'm going to write tab list since this is a list or collection of data so that's why aria role i'm writing it as tab list and this is a single entity so here i'm going to write aria role okay so let me remove it and make it role and here i'm going to write aria role tab and i'm going to copy the same thing and i'm going to paste it here so by doing so it is actually grouping it it is grouping my list so the aria role equals to tab list is grouping all this aria role tab and making it a list so that when a people with some disability let's say visual disabled people is using some screen reader tools so it helps him to understand that this is a group of navigation so the screen reader is going to read it as like this is a tab list and we have one tab called home and we have another tab called login or sign up so this is how we are going to improve the accessibility of websites so there are two key components which you need to remember first one is using semantic html and then the second one is using aria role we have got different aria role values the one is tab list the other is aria role required and there are so many values which you can google and you can read more about them here again you can see i'm trying to create a heading but that too is wrapped in the div tag but i can simply give h1 tag and make it more accessible friendly now another thing which i'm doing it wrong is in this image tag you might have seen i'm adding source but i'm not adding any alt tag or the alternative tag so here in the source there is a link of an image which is visible in our web page and we can see and interact with it but the people with disabilities cannot see the image so there might be some people with visual issues who cannot see the image so those people might be using screen reader tools 
so for them we need to describe what this image is all about so i'm going to write here some image description so in your alt tag you can describe what your image is all about so that screen reader can understand and tell the end user which is using the screen reader the other thing you can see is here i'm trying to create a button let's enroll but that too i'm creating using the deep tag i can remove this deep tag and write semantic button tag here and make it more accessible friendly okay now let me save this code and let me reload the website okay so i have saved it i have reloaded i have made some changes out here and now let me generate the report again so let me go to the developer tools here now again i'm going to generate a fresh report using lighthouse it is going to take some time so once the report is generated i'll show you so now you can see i'm ready with the report and now google lighthouse is giving me 100 percent accessibility so this is how you can improve the accessibility of the website never forget two key specifications which i have mentioned the first one is using semantic tag semantic tag is really useful while using in html it improves the seo of your website it improves the accessibility of your websites and the second key specifications which you can use is the aria tag you can read more about aria in the google you can search more about aria attributes and you get plenty of blogs i have also written some of them you can read and you can find different values and you can use it into your website so that's it for today guys we'll discuss more in the upcoming next videos if you like my content please subscribe my channel it motivates me to make more such content